here we have a 54 volt 9 amp hour flex volt will not charge beyond one bar will not power 54 volt tools will power 18 volt tools but since it won't charge there's no point so i'm going to take the screws out and get into it see what i can find out you take off the side get the four screws take off the side both sides pull off i removed both sides and i might be lucky with this one there's an obvious breaking connection there and corrosion there i'm thinking if I take a bit of nickel strip and put it together, see if it charges. That might have burnt out for a reason. That cell could be defective. Before doing anything, I should probably try and test the cells to see what they're like. I tested all the cells with a voltmeter and I can't see one that's identifying itself as defective. So we're going to go back to this. I'm going to spot weld a bit of nickel strip onto that. Right, I've got a little bit of nickel strip cut to the right size. I'm going to tack it on there nice and neatly with my spot welder. My spot welder's turned up nice and high. Yeah. I'm going to tack it on. I can get this up nicely. That's, that's maybe better there. Right, here we are. Here goes nothing. I always like to set my spot welder for the two second delay, it gives you time before she makes the final weld. I like to put plenty of little welds. You can buy better spot welders, more sophisticated ones than I have. But I find this one's just fine. But if you do give an overload on a battery, the nickel strip's fine enough that I'm using. That it'll burn out before it causes anything else to blow. So that's connected now. With the voltmeter attached and the 18 volt setting, it's putting out 17.9 which is very very good and if you push the these in the full way to simulate the 54 volt setting it's now putting out 15 where it was putting out none it may not be fixed but i'll not know to put it on the charge charge is starting up as usual but done this the last time before I attempted that fix so I'll have to leave it sitting on the charge a little while to see what it does that's only been on 10 minutes and it stopped charging I took it off and it's still showing one bar so that hasn't worked right so the fix hasn't worked um, I'm going to pull the side off again you see I think I have a success um, Pulled the sides off and the top off and I sandpapered the terminals that connect to the battery or the charger and I straightened some of them. If you turn this round, it's now charged to two bars. I think it's going to get there. Right, that fix has been totally successful. Now I've got a fully charged 3 bar 54 volt flex volt lithium ion battery.